Oh, we're getting yeah. into the, the 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 very famous one. Yeah. And um, this was uh, this kind of did break the ice, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> using even the term ice is uh, uh, and, right. And it this, was theorized that what we're seeing here was uh, a giant piece of space ice. No. No, no, that's not the explanation. Oh, it dropped uh, off of one of the crafts. As the shuttle uh, changes uh, uh, attitude or something, then it, it throws ice. Okay. But this piece of ice happens to make a pretty extreme turn. And yeah, as, oh, it, it, people have written whole essays on uh, both pro and con, the, the ice uh, theory. But this and one, I, I don't have problem with the ice as far as if you see little dots, but when they start moving... In, uh, I have a problem with certain, a piece uh, of ice making a turn. As yeah, I, no, I know. <laughs> I was going to get to that. And again, we are seeing in, in this, especially earlier on, you can see little streaks going across, which are legitimate meteorites and bits of space debris, but keep an eye on this stuff, folks. That thing there seems to be pulsating. And this uh, eventually did get a lot of attention, this footage. Um, and this uh, did uh, was shown on, on the major broadcasts. Yes. Um, and then made, well, certainly the rounds as a, a videotape for all of us. But we do seem to, all those three or four major things, whether or not that's, uh, ap well, non-atmospheric distortion or whether or not it's actually uh, a change in the lighting scheme aboard dare I say whatever the heck that is we're seeing moving to the upper left we don't know oh yeah, there you that's go a, that's a turn fabulous. Right. fabulous and then there were even some people and this was one of the various speculations about this footage that claimed that they were trying to shoot at the UFOs remember that was when you see those things uh, yes that they I can see why someone weapon. could speculate with that so right uh, oh, there was even this Star Wars uh, theory that it was um, hey this is uh, 19, some kind of Star Wars or, test or something yeah. Uh, but did that son of a gun uh, made yeah, it? Yeah, it goes on and on. Uh, this is still same mission. Jeez. And uh, there's been thorough analysis of this videotape, uh, especially by a professor at physics at, uh, um, at in Nebraska, University of Nebraska, called Jack Kasher. He oh, sure, it. of course. He's, He's gone on to write a right. couple of well-known papers. He's the one that uh, basically debated uh, Oberg over the the ice theory because when when NASA first didn't say anything, yeah. But once when enough attention was roused, uh, they had to come up with some explanation. And Oberg, uh, of course, is James Oberg. Uh, James Oberg, uh, former uh, NASA. Is he uh, still current? No, NASA? actually, he's completely out of the space program uh -huh. now. Uh, I, uh, well, he was uh, never a NASA employee. He used to work for um, McDonnell Douglas. Right. But he was certainly worked in the space program. And he was a very, um, uh, is a, a very informed oh, skeptic. definitely. Very bright. Uh, uh, bright and uh, not a debunker as much as um, somebody who addresses it from the other uh, point of view. Very skeptic, yeah. but bright, and certainly knows uh, the phenomenon of space. Yeah. Now, this is uh, very weird. This, I think, had happened when the story of Musgrave was in space, and it really looks like a, like a protozoa, almost it's like, a, like organic. Does, this does not look at strange. all like metallic or anything like that. Uh, artificial, you know. It, looks, now, it really looks like life in outer space. And that's even what Musgrave said on, a, on, a, on an interview with Channel 4 in England, on a documentary, a very good documentary made by Channel 4. They interviewed Dr. Story Musgrave. It's who was, actually uh, wiggling. Kind uh, of. Yes. And oh he, my he, he calls it the space protozoa. Because from a distance, it looks more static. Right. Like it's, um, you know, might be a booster or something. But they don't make wiggly boosters, do they? No, they don't do, do wiggly boosters, uh, <laughs> not to my knowledge. That is absolutely it's wild. It's very wild, very strange. Um, Good. Lord. It looks like something under the microscope, right? It surely right? does. And yet, again, there's no dispute about the origin of, of any of this no. NASA footage. Uh, no. There is plenty of controversy over what it is, yeah. but not uh, on the origin of the thing. Isn't that a knockout? Okay. Uh, now, this one, I'm definitely a skeptic, mm -hmm. uh, I have to admit. This is, uh, I think these are these little silvery balloons uh, mm -hmm. that, um, that uh, are just thrown in the air, you know, and I think they've contaminated a lot of the Mexican videos, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure that many people uh, will disagree with me, but... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, this is my take on, on this particular one and a few others. Um, because we tested it with my friend Manuel Fernandez. Yes, of course. And um, he did one in the Bronx, and it looked almost identical. And uh, I would love to see this thing uh, 
you know, so to say, make a turn or do something other yeah, than just seemingly rise gently. You see, later on, there are other videos that oh, first yeah. I said, oh, the maybe Mexico balloon, City. but then the balloons start multiplying. Yeah. <laughs> so it, right. it, it was not a balloon. Ah, <laughs> oh, what do we have here? Uh, now these are from, from, over Israel, from Israel. I'm, 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 I'm like the Mexico, I'm less familiar with yeah. the background of some of these cases. Now, we certainly seem to have a real shape there, and again, whether or not it's refraction, it's darker underneath, back we go to Mexico. Yeah, pro probably a balloon again. Um, I bet again, people, when people think of balloons, they think of weather balloons, or meteorological. Balloons. I, I'm thinking in terms of toy balloons, mm -hmm. you know, those little silvery balloons for, for children. Let's uh, see. I mean, it's obviously got dimension. Uh, it is lit from above, as would make sense uh, yeah, during the day. Yeah, they're silvery, so they'll get hit by sunlight. Yeah. They can make very good UFOs, in quotation marks, you know. But... You know, I, one thing, people that know me, you've known me for many years, sure. I'm, I'm not dogmatic at all. If someone shows no, no. me you're, evidence you're to the researcher, country, you're open -minded. I'll change my, yeah. my opinion, you know. Um, now that one's up in the air for me. Okay, Carlos Diaz, this is... Carlos Diaz is a, a contactee yeah. uh, and a photographer. Uh, and a contactee much in the spirit of um, the goodwill and the innocence absolutely. to a degree of the uh, 50s contactees. Though he, has been very, he hasn't been very forthcoming about the, um, you know, the details of uh, what happened to him mm -hmm. or, or where, the, where the aliens come from. Uh, mostly he's concentrated on the area of um, that the aliens are coming to... Um, clean up our environment, mm -hmm. which is a very nice thought. But, yeah, and we hear uh, that. And I wish it was true, yeah. but uh, I cannot vouch for it, you know. Uh, you can't? Uh, <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> you know, we're talking of Mexico, yeah. and let's, let's go a few hundred years ago, and uh, when um, Cortes came, you know, Moctezuma and the Aztecs thought, hey, the gods are back, and uh, the gods were pretty nasty. So. Big mistake, folks. <laughs> yes, so sir. I, I, I'm not sure, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll come more um, footage from uh, Carlos Diaz uh, yeah. as we proceed. Now, we're heading into uh, 92 here. So this, I guess, now oh. we're in Ecuador. Yeah, this okay. has got great music. Here we go, folks. It's you, the Macarena. You can dance here on this one. Yes. Just stand and, up. Uh, in Guayaquil. The, the, the Whoa. And, A very uh, authentic reaction there. Yeah. And I love how the music's still going in the background. Sure, because the uh, music is still going on. And they've got other things to do than turn it down. This is uh, something that has totally taken their attention. Hold that yeah. camera steady, yeah, please. Uh, when people get very excited, uh, you know, you can't blame them. Yeah, of course. <laughs> ah, okay. And uh, now that you, we get a better view, it seems, it to, is be, elongated. It seems to be cylindrical, yes. Yeah. And again, whether or not and, uh, that's a distortion see, or uh, a genuine oh, color change oh, underneath. Yeah, they, that could be a distortion. Yeah. But I, I, I don't think the shape is a distortion, though. Yeah. The shape looks uh, pretty clear now. See, this, uh, not at all. This is different from the what I was postulating as balloons on the yeah. previous ones. And now we'll, we'll start seeing, well, now we're back to Greek Gulf Breeze, but mm -hmm. uh, we will... Uh,